Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel and today I will be talking about my October favorites for the month and it's already November and it's still hot in SoCal I do not understand but you know holiday season's coming up so I've been smelling pumpkin spice lattes everywhere and peppermint everything so without further ado let's get started first on my favorites is a snack category because I've been loving the snack all month, like you have no idea. And it's the Kit Kat. Just for some reason, I've been craving this a lot. So I've been getting green tea Kit Kats, chocolate, white chocolate, strawberry Kit Kats. Or if you didn't know, if you're not familiar with the Japanese products of Kit Kats, there are like, like a variety of it. So I go to Mitsua, which is a Japanese grocery store, and they like import the green tea Kit Kats and the strawberry Kit Kats. They also sometimes carry the vanilla Kit Kats or the cookies and cream one, but the green tea one and strawberry is like my favorite. But right now, since they are pretty pricey, I've been just eating the chocolate ones. Next on my favorites is something different. Um, it's baby wipes. I do not have a kid if you're thinking that, but I've been I went to Costco and bought like a whole pack of baby wipes and it came with this little Ziploc carrier thing and I keep some baby wipes in there and keep it in my purse because sometimes when I'm not wearing makeup and it's super hot outside, you just want to refresh yourself. So baby wipes do do the same thing and I also use it to and I also use it to wipe my hands to disinfect stuff. But also, like, say you go to the bathroom, there's no toilet paper, you got this to save your life. For real, this has saved me many times, especially when you go to Disneyland or those busy places and they just don't fill it up. And I understand, you know, there's a lot of customers and it's hard to check in every hour to, you know, refill the toilet paper, but this is really good and also I do use this to take off my makeup especially when I use Pond's cold cream and I just put that first and I use the baby wipes to wipe it off unless I'm feeling lazy and I use the baby wipes instead um, because I think it's a cheaper alternative to use Neutrogena's makeup remover it still does the same thing but it's just a little bit harder <laughs> as you can say but using Pond's cream and this is really good. Now on to the beauty stuff. I've been loving the beauty blender so much this month. Like no joke. I use it for con contouring. Well, you know when you, I use cream based products to contour my face. And to blend the highlighted concealer area right here. Or my under eyes in the corner of my nose and my foundation. I use it dry and wet as well when it is damp. When it's damp, it's more of like a dewy, natural finish, which I like. But people have been saying that, oh, you should get the mini beauty blenders. In my personal opinion, I think that buying the mini beauty blenders is a waste of money. It's two for $17.95 when just a regular beauty blender does the exact same thing. It's just bigger and pink. The other one is just smaller and green. Um, to get your inner corners <clears throat> but I just don't see myself buying a two mini beauty blenders when one does a job anyways next on my favorites is it's Judy time palette and I got this when she just released it in LA and I got to take a picture with her and meet Benji and she even signed it right here um, oh, it's just really great product and I've been using this every day for fall look and I'm wearing it on my eyes right now except for the glitter part which is Verve from Naked 2 palette and it just has really great range of neutral colors and if you want to smoke it out or use any pop of color there's these purple and blues <clears throat> and the rest is just neutral and shimmer products and this is a really great product to <clears throat> to get because it's cheap as well and the quality from BH Cosmetics is so good but yeah it's Judy Time Palette it's a really great product and it's my favorite from the BH line next on my favorites is from Glam Glow and I got this one in the smaller version 
and it's basically a mud mask and you can see I used a lot of it and um, yeah it's really great and it's pretty pricey if you get the full version I believe the full version is $69 but this exfoliates your skin and it leaves it really refreshed. I like this a lot better than the Origins Mud Mask because I feel like after using this, my face is so soft and clean and I love how it exfoliates at the same time. But I love this so much, but I just wish they had the Super Glam Glow, that white one in a smaller version too because I believe this was like $25, I believe, or $30, but so good. And last of my favorites is my beanie. And it's kind of weird to add it into my favorites, but I've been loving this beanie a lot and I've been wearing it to school every single time I go to school, which is like Tuesday and Thursdays. But I love how it keeps my head warm and when it was like super cold just for a weekend for um, a SoCal, it kept my head so warm. And I just love how I can like rock this color beanie in any type of clothing I wear. So that concludes the end of my favorites video. And I hope you really like it. And stay tuned for my next one, which is about gifts for her for holiday season.